Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode. So in this one, I yep. am going heading back to camp now to go meet with Dutch and everybody else, because we are heading to Rhodes, as Leviticus Cornwall have, uh, found us in uh, Valentine. Arthur, dumbass. Well. And yeah, we shot up the place. Well, I shot up the place. They did barely any shooting whatsoever, uh, John and Dutch. I shot up the town, uh, bodies everywhere, things broken, so yeah, time to high it. Get horse out of here! It's all good, calm down. We keep heading east, is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. So, we moving? Yeah. We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we going to do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, just can wait. Okay, uh, here we go. Girl. I keep having to try and, like, crane my neck just to see around the Yennefer statue. I don't know why I haven't moved it yet. I think it just looks good in front of the TV, but it also means I can't see the bottom right of my TV. Alright, let's get moving. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp? We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. Uh, yeah, there's no, like, uh, waypoint. Well, there's, there's a waypoint, there's no We're heading guide, south. so I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. It's gonna go off road. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as... Now, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried-up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it and does. Ain't sure to be the yeah, it's not very far from where we either. already are. Well... Either. Take a look around. And it's right next to a road. Like, right next to a road. And a hill. So people can easily get the advantage. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Yeah. And it's a nice place to dump bodies, it seems. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. That's not ideal. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. All right, Charles. Let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but place looks empty. Have a look around and make sure. Hello? Anybody in here that needs killing? Any degenerates? Ingrates? 
rap scallions that need shooting. Just come out now of your tent uh, with your valuables so I can loot the body. Loot. Loot. Not loot. Loot is a musical instrument. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? M men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. Ah, there you go. Arthur does have a good heart. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me. Yeah, he's you got a point. You do. All right. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. I'm not even going to bother to edit that out. <laughs> yeah, whatever happens in these... Uh, commentary stays okay. in the commentary. Looks like they go down this way. That and the way I'm doing them now, it's just going to be a bit of a bitch to edit so, it. What happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Although then again, I might try. I might, you know, it might be a little test I could do. See if I can edit out certain bits. Cause that's the good thing now. I can just quiet the, the the audio for the commentary and not the video itself. So it won't affect the uh, the actual video. Along the shore here. Now, I was saying, bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Easy! John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. It's John's idea. Don't blame me. What are you doing? It's the terrain. Careful. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. But Jack was... I think this is the right way. Give me a second. They carry on along this trail. What was I talking about? Oh, when Jack was real young, a long while. Year him. He did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Whoa. 
seems deserted. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, this seems dodgy. This seems dodgy all the hell. Look how close we've gotten. Hold it! Okay, I'm putting the shotgun back. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This right, is a better no, can't spot than back I can't there. get rid of the shotgun. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Well, he's had one hell of a time. I see three coming this way. Get that hell away from me. Why the hell are you drag us into this, Charles? Doesn't look like it. They're coming in threes. For some reason. There's probably madness in their madness. Oh, I shot the hole. I didn't mean to do that. We get him untied. We'll see what they've left behind for us. Bitte, das will mich gehen. Schneiden Sie das Seil durch, bitte. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. If I remember correctly, the next chapter is a proper, like, Guild McCoy's uh, setup. Like, two families that just hate each other. For whatever reason. And every, I, every time they try to give a reason, it just sounds exaggerated. Like. It, something the other family have done family. to them. It's more a case of like some of their parents told them the other family done, yeah. so they've never like witnessed it. So that's pretty much most Wild West, like spaghetti sort of uh, plots, isn't it? Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, <laughs> money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. Where did I leave the family? Did we really cross this much terrain? Or am I going up that way? I think I must have been I must have been going an indirect way. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, they've moved. There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank! Schatz! Ah! Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Well, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Ein Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. All right, we got some gold. Yeah. I got some gold. Liquid gold. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. 
Hello, Arthur. Dutch. I can't remember why we have here. Miss Grimshaw. Oh no, I think I don't remember. Put everyone but I'm not gonna say because. Make this place a home. Well, we have well, a lot bit here. I don't know where the hell we are. Uh, but we are going to make uh, the a few best days of it. I think we spent a few months here. All in all. Yeah, I can. Uh, I'm gonna get changed. I got a gold ingot. With my nineteen dollars nineteen cents. Give item. How many items do I got? I got a lot of shit. Yeah. Donate. Donate. Why can't I just select things and just hit one button and donate everything I select? Why do I have to go through this all the time? Okay, how much is that? 116, not bad. She didn't even stop. That's just rude. That was Dutch. With Dutch. Dutch buying their land. Okay, let's go and see him. Get the lay of the land and so forth. Fine. Fed up of moving all the time. Yep. Just the way it is. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. Oh, that's we right. Yeah, they're going fishing. Dreamers and in an ever where's Jose? World of facts. Now I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. Oh, that music is very is loud in these earphones. <laughs> wow. Old Jose says it's not even that the rest of the game's loud. It's just the sort. Of, I think it's the sort of like of tone and pitch that that singer's hitting. Ugh. Just goes through me. this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long, old <laughs> uh, It is Always sort of like, you know, after playing a few older games, it is okay. fun to see just how sort of games nowadays right, even put Let me show you weird small things in there, like fishing. Whereas when you look at the GameCube era, I mean, shooters are a bit... I mean, it was just difficult to, to shoot. Especially in a third-person shooter. Now it's like, yeah, fishing minigames and poker and all that. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. A curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. 
Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching. But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Oh. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> well, well, look who it is. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have more Scott. Tell me, sir, what did the silly fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mine in Just how many scandals is that no, sheriff no, no, no. involved? I'm in? sure he wasn't. <laughs> have him he is that a magician. I, I can't have him. more scandal. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we? You, you're can just we gonna just hang them anyway, though. That if I were you. Yes, sadist. Shit. I, the Anderson boys. I can't have more scandal. No, we need them alive so we well, can kill them later. Allow us to help, my friend. Arthur, chase wanted man, uh, and and take Archibald. Callahan. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Yeah, they should have called him Harry. Harry Callahan. Train. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. How am I gonna jump on Come this on, train? Hurry. There's, there's a All bridge right. every like two Come minutes. On, we're losing them. Will you relax? Oh, we're that's not good. Them. Faster! Come on! What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing yeah, I know how to jump on a train. Uh, it's looks like a son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No! Did I not say that? You said plenty. What are you waiting for? I'm right here! <laughs> Idiot! Now get after the others, come on! The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Yeah. He seems really easy to take down. He was like beating that. the shit out of me and I just threw him off. Can. Like he didn't even try and grab hold of the train or anything. Okay, yeah, like uh, kind of take down Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I can't remember how to fight in this. I'll be playing by GameCube games. There we go. Uh, we don't lose them, it's a train. 
you, you can either get to the front or jump off. Either way, we know where he is. friend. Oh, he's got a knife. Yeah. yeah, brought a knife to a fist fight. Well played. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I should have done. Halfway through the fight, I should have opened up a tin of peaches and uh, just, just hit it in front of him. Mocked him, even. It's been like, oh my. That's very nice. Whack. Carry on with the fight. Um, Anderson. What kind of a name is that? Anders Anderson. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. Fine job, well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which so there you go. Yeah. Roads, Hudsfield, sir. McCoy, you don't know it? Whatever, is it Where called Hudsfield? Right now. Is there a family called Hudsfield? The war, but it has its charms. Basically, yeah, I'm it's sure a glass. you already know of the Braithwaite's. Like They've been fighting for as long as I can remember. Dutch has asked the gang not to use... Okay. Parts. They have an estate west Read that earlier. So Awful yeah, just stay undercover basically, you don't uh, go shooting up the town, with the Grays for another as long town. As I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Anders Anderson. Is the Rhodes Parlor House? Again, what, what, what kind of a name is that? Very owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Just 
bring them here. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met they're at a rude. camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. Uh. Okay. So these uh, two yeah, I think I've had enough. Families. Plus, I don't really, I can't say I enjoy fishing a lot in this game. It's fun, and there. if you yeah, want to get some easy money, but yeah. with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these brake weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. To be time. fair, I mean, Arthur did I'm run across board. a train, get into a fist Arthur? fight, multiple Have fist fights. So it probably makes sense that he would not go fishing right after and just find somewhere to chill. I'm going to call it Don't a day, I think, for this episode, for this part. Um, hope you've all enjoyed. Hope the commentary sounds great. Uh, better than it has been for the first nine Looks or so like episodes. Me, uh, if you could leave a like for the uh, video, that would uh, be a great help. If you could leave a comment down below too, in the comment section. And if you haven't done so already, do consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, there'll be uh, an after, like, there'll be like a little screen at the end here, um, like in the f last few videos. That will be suggesting to uh, walkthroughs that you might be interested in on my channel. For now, though, that's all there is. So until the next episode, you look after yourself, you take care, and you be sure to have a great day. Ta-da.